Hi everyone, Sabrina from Campbell's Freedom Farm and I'm in the garden and you can see a lot of bamboo going on here. I am going to create a wall, a living wall of Malabar spinach. Now, let's talk about Malabar spinach. Is it related to the spinach plant? No, it actually has the honorary name of spinach. Just like in the video of Russian sage, really Russian sage is not a sage, it just holds the name. This is actually a Bacella alaba plant. It's a succulent and basically it just vines around, loves the hot water, and more importantly, it loves moisture. So it will actually grow 33 feet. So I put these on and the idea is I wanted to go vertical and horizontal. I'm gonna grow a string across and so it should take over the whole thing. Now, let's talk about what Malbar spinach is used for besides looking cool. It's actually a very important edible in many countries such as Asia and Africa. And um, it has 10% calcium and 170% vitamin C if you have 100 grams. I mean, that's incredible. So anybody that's a vegan, this is a perfect substitute. But they also use it just like the okra that's got that slimy feeling. It's used as a thickener in the stews and stuff. But um, now let's plant it. What I'm gonna do, since it likes that organic material, I'm gonna use a lot of compost, at least two inches on top, and I'll keep adding that. And um, I'll feed it some, I don't know, some type of food that has high nitrogen. Remember, we don't care about flowers. Those are irrelevant, except in the fall when we collect the seeds. We want some that grows very quickly, just like the lemongrass or the sweet potato. Now this is gonna be really hard, so maybe you could just zoom in. I have filled this a good two inches with compost, and I'm just gonna put it in, and then I'm gonna refill it with compost. Remember, you want rich, wet, organic material. And as it goes, I will tie it here and then I'll run a string here so it goes across horizontal. All right, let me plant these real quick. All right, they're in. Now, they're in the shade a little bit right now and that's okay. Malbar spinach loves the sun, but it's okay with some partial shade. And it's only, it gets about seven hours of sun. So that's good enough. Now, what made me think of doing this wall is in my old house, I had a conservatory and it actually grew and took over the whole wall. It was amazing. And um, it's actually a perennial, not in my zone, <clears throat> but in the conservatory and the greenhouses it is. So in this fall if you want to bring it in as a house plant we could do some cuttings and um start some new ones just for the winter but i'll be kind of curious if this works or not let me know what you think this is sabrina from campbell's freedom farm please thumbs up and subscribe